Okay, now we know how to get the standard error, and we know how to use T. We can find confidence interval for a single mean. So 11 people were given 46 grams of dark chocolate every day for two weeks. Their vascular health was measured before and after the two weeks. Larger numbers indicate greater vascular health. The mean increase for the participants was 1.3 with a standard deviation of 2.32. So the mean increase is 1.3 and the standard deviation is 2.32. Assume a dot plot shows the data are reasonably symmetric with no extreme values. This goes into the conditions that the sample size has to be greater than or equal to 30. This one is not, but the fact that it's reasonably symmetric with no extreme values means that we can go ahead and use the t-distribution. Find and interpret a 90% confidence interval for the mean increase in this measure of vascular health after two weeks of eating dark chocolate. And can we be 90% confident that the mean change for everyone would be positive? Well, it's statistic plus or minus, now we're using T splat times standard error. Well, 1.3 is the statistic, so we have that. For T splat, it's inf T. And then the rest is the same as we had for the inverse norm. It's just that we have to include the degrees of freedom. So we have 0.9 plus 1 minus 0.9 over 2. And then n is, 9, n is 11, so degrees of freedom is 10. So we have second vars inf t 0.9 plus 1 minus 0.9 divided by 2 for our area, 10 degrees of freedom. And we get a t-splat of 1.812. Now for our standard error, because we do not have population standard deviation, we're going to use sample standard deviation. So the standard error is S over square root of N. So it's 2.32 over the square root of 11. 2.32 divided by square root of 11 gives us 0.6995. So that's our standard error. So we have 1.3 plus or minus 1.812 times 0 0.6995. So it's 1.3 plus or minus 1.267, which gives us 0 0.0332 2.567. Now our interpretation, we are 90% confident then we go back to the problem that the mean increase in this measure of vascular health
after two weeks, of eating dark chocolate is between 0 0.033 and 2.567. We're not finished because there's another question here. It says, can we be 90% confident that the mean change for everyone would be positive? Well, if we look at this, all values in the interval are positive, so we are 90% confident that the mean change is positive. Now we have some more questions. What is the margin of error for the confidence interval above? Well, remember the margin of error is the T splat times the standard, D standard error, so it would be 1.267. Now what sample size is needed if we want the margin of error within plus or minus 0.5 with 90% confidence? Now, typically, to find the sample size, you would use population standard deviation, but the chances of having population standard deviation are very slim, so we're going to use the sample standard deviation to estimate it. So we have Z splat times sigma over the margin of error squared. For 90% confidence interval, Z splat is 1.645. Because we want to use the population standard deviation, it's why we can use Z. And also because we're looking for the sample size and we're assuming it's going to be more than 30. So it's 1.645 times 2.32 over the margin of error of 0.5, then we square it. So it's 1.645 times 2.32 divided by 0.5, and then squared gives us 58.25963584. So 58.2. Five nine six three five eight four. Now, as I said when we did this with proportion, this is the minimum number we need to survey, so we don't want to lose this decimal amount. So we are going to round it up to fifty nine. 